The next two videos in chapter 11 are going to be some review. First, we're going to review special right triangles, so 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. And then in the next video, we're going to review trig. Now, we need to review these two topics because they're going to be particularly important in the next section, 11.6, and then in 11.7. So we're going to do a quick review before we move on to new topics. Top of this page, I want to review the ratios for 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. And then we'll do a few examples. So if we draw ourselves a 45, 45, 90 triangle, one thing that's important to remember about this triangle, if two of the angles are the same, that means two sides are the same as well. It's an isosceles triangle. So those two are congruent. The, the sides across from the 45 degrees, we call L. And then hopefully we remember that the hypotenuse is L root 2. So in class, we had always written out a ratio, two ratios. First one for the triangles, the 45, 45, 90. And then the sides are L, L, L root 2. And remember the way to read this ratio is that the side across from the 90 is L root 2. Other ratio that we're going to review this video is 30, 60, 90 triangles. So we have one angle of 30 degrees, one angle of 60, and then the 90 still. The side across from the 30 we call L. The side across from the 60 we call L root 3. And the side across from the 90 is 2L. So one of the most common mistakes is you have to remember in the 30, 60, 90 triangle, it's a root 3. But in the 45, 45, 90, it's a root 2. So then the ratio is here. The first one we do the angles, 30, 60, 90. Across from the 30 is L, across from the 60 is L root 3, and across from the 90 is 2L. So you guys have seen these in a few chapters recently, chapter 10, chapter 8, but this is just to help reinforce some of this review. So we're going to do examples 1 through 6. For these examples, we should not be using a calculator. So if you have your calculator out, put it away. And then to remind you, we need to have exact answers. So if you recall, all the way back to chapter 7, when I said I want exa answers exact, that's a hint that you don't want to be using trig. That's a hint that we need to use Pythagorean theorem, 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. In this case, like I said, we're going to do the, the 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. For example, 1, we can see we have two angles marked 45 and 45 so start with the ratio of the angles 45 45 90 and then we have our L L L root 2 okay now we look at our actual triangle and see which sides we have we have the 6 which is across from the 45 so underneath 45 we're gonna write 6 so you write the side you actually have this tells us that L equals 6 so this will also be 6 this will be L root 2, which will be 6 root 2. X is the side across from the 90. Based on our ratio, then, we get X to be 6 root 2. Okay, example 2, again, a 45, 45, 90. So we have 45, 45, 90, L, L, L root 2. Okay, now we have the side that's across from the 45, which is 9 root 2. So underneath the 45 goes 9 root 2. Not plain 9. It's the side you actually have. So whatever you see on the triangle is what you need to write down. We get 9 root 2. Again, this tells us L is equal to 9 root 2. So our last spot then, L is 9 root 2, and we get another root 2. So this 9 root 2 is the L, this is the extra root 2. So this becomes 9 root 4, which is 9 times 2, which is 18. X then, across from the 90, is that 18. Okay. We are going to do question... Hmm, question 6, and then you're going to try some on your own. So question six is a 30, 60, 90 this time. And we're going to have our L, L root 3, and 2L. Side across from the 60 is 18. So underneath the 60 goes 18, not 18 root 3. 
just plain 18. Again, report the side you actually have. Don't add anything, don't take away anything. This tells us that L root 3 is equal to 18. So if you remember from before, we divide by root 3. So our L is 18 over root 3. Now, when we did special right triangles before, we talked about you're not allowed to have a root in the denominator. That's not considered proper. So what you do is you multiply by the same root. Okay, so now in our numerator, we get 18 root 3. The denominator doesn't disappear. So root 3 times root 3 doesn't go away. Instead, root 3 times root 3 is just plain old 3. So then 18 divided by 3 gives us 6 root 3. So remember, L is what we've been looking for. So that was 6 root 3. 2L then, so 2 times 6 root 3 gives us 12 root 3. Okay, so x is across from the 30. We get x then to be 6 root 3. y is across from the 90, so our y ends up being 12 root 3. Okay, what I would like you to do right now is pause the video, take two minutes, and do examples 3, 4, and 5, please. Okay, let's see how we did. Question three, there's no angles marked, but you do notice that the triangle is isosceles. This is an indicator that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Two sides are the same, two angles have to be the same as well. So we get L, L, L root two. Side across from the 90 is eight, so underneath the 90 you write eight, not eight root two. So report what you actually have, what's actually on the triangle. Okay, so we're going to have to rationalize again. That's that process that we did here, down here on number six. We get L root two is equal to eight. We want L though, so we divide by root two and we get eight root two. Similar to problem six, we notice we can't have a root in the denominator, so we multiply by that same root. Again, that process is called rationalizing. In the numerator, you get eight root two. In the denominator, hopefully we remembered that those root twos don't disappear, they're still there. Root two times root two gives us two. So then finally, eight divided by two is four, and then we get root two. So our L is four root two. X is across from the 45, it's not written, but we know that that's 45, which means our X is four root two. Okay, question four. You should have used a 30, 60, 90. So we get L, L root three, two L. We know the side across from the 90 is eight. So underneath the 90, you write eight. Don't double it. Write what you actually have. This tells us that two L equals eight. If we divide by two, we get L equals four. So then we have four root three. Okay, x is across from the 30, so our x is that 4, and our y is that 4 root 3. Example 5, I will tell you for x, you should have gotten 10 root 3, and for y, you should have gotten 15. When you come in tomorrow, you will need work for that problem. If you do not have work shown, you will not get credit. Okay, if we can flip to the next page. Top of the page, you have your objective problem. It's just the one at the top, it's not the one at the bottom. You need to calculate the values of x and b in the figure below. Okay, one thing I'm gonna help us with is we notice that this figure to the right has two sides of six. Now, those 90 degrees make it a rectangle. So this goes back to chapter eight. Four 90 degrees makes it a rectangle. Opposite sides are congruent in a rectangle. So now you can focus on this triangle. You know the side across from the 60 is a six. You need to find A and B. If you do not have this problem done tomorrow, you will not get full credit. If you need help, please look back at the problems on their earlier page. Good luck.